What's up, you beautiful people? So guys, this is a future Valen speaking because I thought it was a great idea to show you guys my outfit, go about my day, but not record an intro. Like, what was I thinking? I was dying of laughter when I was like, where's my intro? Like, what what's going on here? And I'm like, oh my God, girl. Like, <laughs> Girl, you literally forgot to film it. So, <laughs> again, here I am, future Valen, doing this for you guys. But guys, I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. We are going to go to Second and Charles. Just like the title says, we are going to go buy some used books. I do have a new book that I definitely want to pick up at Second and Charles because I've been wanting to have this on my TBR. But we are going to go there. They like buy used books. They trade stuff like video games, things like that. So I'm really excited to check it out and purchase Purchase some used books. So let's go ahead and go to Pasvalen and check out my outfit and head out. So I will see you guys soon. Bye guys. All right guys, so this is going to be my outfit to go to the bookstore. So I ended up just putting a green flannel. I have my Metallica shirt, of course. I put on some shorts and then I'm going to put on my white high tops. Um, but yeah, this is going to be my outfit. I've had all of this for like years guys it's not even funny i got it h m and i think i've had this whole outfit since i was like 19 years old so this is all so freaking old it's not even funny i started laughing once i thought about it um but yeah let's go ahead and head to the store guys yeah you talking out mm, got a whole lot of words falling out yeah on your mouth Take your hold, deep your go, baby, go and show yourself uh, Play your game, I'll be patiently waiting till time runs out Getting close now All the stories that you tell with a beautiful imagination And you should've told me about where you've been, who you're with, yeah, okay then You go ahead and
All right, friends. So I made it home safely. Thank the Lord. And guys, I have secured the goodies. So she is a little heavy. Oh my God. I'm not going to lie. I went overboard, but that's okay because Second and Charles is a place where you can buy used books. So your girl went a little crazy. And again, that is all right. There was just so many rows on rows of like just books and selections different genres like it was so overwhelming i was not able to go through every single book because it was just too much and i would have spent all day there i was already there for like two hours and i was like okay like i, I gotta get going <laughs> i have to put some of these books down and i gotta go so i did get quite a few i'm so excited to share with you guys i did end up buying some used books i also bought some newer books because they have like again a variety of selections for you so I'm super excited to share the books that I got with you guys so let's go ahead and talk about the first book the first book that we're going to be talking about is going to be a venom dark and sweet by judy lynn and this is going to be the second book in a series and guys I ended up picking them up because they're so beautiful like how gorgeous is that this is absolutely beautiful i do have the first one with me as well so this is going to be the first one right here and she is just as gorgeous and oh my god i cannot wait to start reading these i didn't only pick them up because of their beauty but this is going to be a new author for me and the storyline sounds so good we're following a character named ning and she's an herbal tea like specialist like with magic so there's like magic involved in this and she was brewing some tea for her mom and she accidentally ended up poisoning her this also is affecting her sister Shu but sadly her mom did end up passing away because of this so Ning decides to end up in a competition to try and help her sister out because in this competition if she does win the whole thing she can ask one of the prince for or I believe one of the prince or the only prince I can't really remember I'm so sorry but I believe it's just one prince but she can ask the prince for any request so he will grant her any wish or or whoever ends up winning this and she really wants to be able to win this to help out her sister there is a lot of drama a lot of backstabbing between the competitors so i'm excited to dive in it sounds like a really good read and there's going to be a lot of drama that's what i'm guessing so far the next book that we're going to be talking about is going to be a sign of affection and guys i was so excited when i found this at second and charles because i was looking for it at barnes and noble couldn't find it so i was going to order it on amazon and then she was there and I was like yes like finally because I've been dying to talk to you guys about this manga and if you have never read a manga before and you like romance please pick this up this manga is so adorable and you're like Valen you just have the first one what are you talking about so if you are hesitant to buy it and you are not going to take my word for it just watch the anime you can find it on crunchyroll i'm not sure if you can get it on like netflix or hulu i'm not too sure i have to like double check but i know that you can definitely find it on crunchyroll so please get crunchyroll and watch this anime because it has me like squealing like a school girl like i'm freaking out i have butterflies in my tummy like i am just oh i'm blushing i i'm telling you it is everything you want and then some okay like this manga is everything the anime is just so freaking cute but let's talk about her okay so <laughs> following a character her name is yuki and guys she is just so freaking adorable but she is a college student she was born deaf and the only way that she communicates is through sign language text messages and she's also able to read people's lips but she does have a difficult time of course if someone is speaking way too fast or if they don't speak Japanese so while Yuki was actually on the train heading to school she ended up bumping into this foreigner who comes up to her and asks her for directions and she's panicking because she's like I have no idea what you're saying I don't understand English and I can't hear you even if I wanted to help you so she is freaking out and here comes our love interest this cutie patootie right here called Itsumi and he comes to the rescue and he starts communicating with this foreigner and you know gets him on his way to wherever he's looking for and gives him the directions right so when Itsumi looks at Yuki and is like you know he was just speaking Japanese like why couldn't you understand him and she signs to him thank you and also shows that she can't hear right so at this point like he is so intrigued by Yuki he's like whoa because 
Itsumi, just a little bit of background, Itsumi, he loves traveling. He travels all the time. He knows three different languages and he just loves exploring and being able to go anywhere he wants. Well, Yuki, that is not for her. So when he finds someone who he's interested in at this point, because he's like, this is new to me. I've never had a friend who was deaf and can only communicate through sign language. And he really wanted to get to know Yuki more and vice versa. Yuki also wanted to get to know Itsumi more because he's like whoa like this guy like I think he's actually in a class with my friend he speaks like many languages so she knew a little bit about Itsumi but not too much so she now is like oh my god like this is so nice and they end up actually going on a date and in here it's just it's so much fun because you have two people who have a completely different world coming together and just wanting to you know get to know a about each other find different things learn from one another and it's just so cute and romantic guys and if there's again any anime or manga that i would suggest to you guys it would definitely be a sign of affection you won't regret it the book i chose is going to be kingdom of the wicked and this book is going to be about a girl named Amelia and her twin sister who are both witches hiding amongst human. And one night when they were supposed to get together for dinner, her twin sister didn't end up showing up. Sadly, Amelia does end up finding out that her sister was murdered in such a tragic way. So Amelia is out for vengeance for her sister. She wants revenge on whoever hurt her. It doesn't matter if she has to use dark magic. And while in her journey, she ends up bumping into this guy named Marath, who is a prince of hell and she has been told since she was a kid to stay away from this guy to not get near him and this guy swears up and down wrath is like i am on your side i was sent by my master to solve this mystery of all these women being murdered on this island and i'm really excited to read this because i want to find out of course what happened to amelia's sister but this also is a romance so i feel like it's going to be really good although i'm kind of like amelia like your first mistake is talking to a guy from hell like come on girl so <laughs> besides that i am really excited to read this book the next book that i picked is going to be where the dark stands still and guys i am obsessed with this cover like take a minute to appreciate this like what this is gorgeous this is so gorgeous and wait for the back wait for the back oh my god I know, I know. I was freaking out when I found this at Second and Charles. I looked at it and I was like, ooh, I was like, girl, I can't just walk away. Like, that is gorgeous. This right here, oh yeah, I, I could not pass her up. So I picked her up, I put her in my cart as soon as I saw it. <laughs> Of course, like before I left the store, I was like, well, let me read what it's about because I don't even know what I'm taking home with me. But again, this like I was sold. I was absolutely sold. So this is one of the, the new books that I ended up purchasing at Second and Charles. But guys, so this book is going to be about a girl named Liska and she has tried to suppress her magic since she was a child. She believes that anyone who has magic is a monster and only monsters wield it. So she has done everything in her power to try to get rid of it as well. Well, one day she ends up overhearing that there is a flower called like the fern flower and that it can grant you a wish or end up taking away your magic so of course she's like i'm going to go into the woods and pick this flower although there is a lot of horror stories with the woods and people not coming back she's like okay whatever i don't care about the consequences i'm going in and when she goes in she does end up getting caught by a demon warden and this demon warden is like either you can die or you can live with me for a year stay with me and then I'll let you go. Of course she agrees to go with the demon warden so once she's there she ends up finding out that a lot of her ancestors made the same bargain and never came back home. So now she's trying to not only survive find out what happened to her ancestors and also try to get rid of her magic at the same time and see what this creepy demon warden is all about. So I, I'm really excited because there's magic, it's mystical, there's fantasy, and you guys know that I absolutely love fantasy. So I feel like this is going to be a really good read and I can't wait to start it because who doesn't love like a girl wanting to suppress her magic and potentially like a guy who's just like, ooh, like, I'm super like creepy like I might just not let you go home like it's I mean it's romance okay I know I sound crazy but this has to be a good read okay I mean 
I really hope this doesn't disappoint with the cover, but I'm so excited to read this, guys. This book that I picked is going to be Skyward. And guys, this is a book that my sister-in-law, Jenny, shout out to her. I love you so much, girl. Te quiero mucho. She knows me so well and she knows what I like. So for her to recommend me a book, I know that it has to be good. So this book is going to be about a girl named Spensa who wants to become a pilot. And she really wants to become a pilot because they are known as like heroes and they're saving what's left of, you know, mankind but the only problem and the only obstacle that is in her way right now is that there are people who are holding something that happened to not her but her dad over her head so her dad used to be a pilot himself and he ended up deserting his crewmen so his team and people won't let that go and they hold it over her so she is having a really hard time getting into pilot school well at some point they ended up finding a cavern i believe that holds a lot of like mysteries and should help her and you know i guess it unravels like what happened in the past it might actually help spensa be able to get into pilot school so i am really excited about this because it's reminding me a lot of like star trek and you know like star wars that's like the vibes that it's giving me so i'm so excited because i love that type of genre and i absolutely love star trek and star wars so i have really high hopes for this so i know also that my sister-in-law won't let me down so i can't wait to read this last book that we're going to be talking about is going to be the fine print and guys i'm so excited to read this book because i have seen it everywhere i've heard great reviews about this book and this author i've seen on like booktube instagram reels like i've seen it everywhere so i was really excited to find this for only three dollars at second and charles and it's in great condition guys like there is no scratches at all like it's in perfect condition so i was very very excited to find this and get it at such a low price i was like yeah okay a win is a win we will we will take any win that we can get big or small all right so this book is going to be about two characters one of them is rowan and the other one is zara and rowan is a billionaire he creates theme parks and five-star hotels he's just this very wealthy guy and he receives this email from this girl named zara who is upset with him about like the prices or about the theme park or something that is going on in the sense with this theme park and she is just highly upset writes him this email and he ends up hiring her and when zara starts working for this guy she realizes that he is a complete douchebag he's mean and rude and she's like what did i just get myself into and rowan is having the time of his life because i'm guessing he likes zara and likes that spiciness in her this is a romance so i am really excited i feel like it reminds me of like Disneyland you know so I'm I love Disneyland so I'm kind of excited to see like where this goes I don't know too much about this and I'm kind of glad I'm kind of going in blindsided because I don't want it to be ruined for me because I feel like when books are overly hyped you know you kind of like oh like that wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be so I really do like that I'm I know like very minimal like it's very vague of like what I know about this book so that's why I'm giving such a like you know black like you know kind of like summary so i do apologize but that's really all that i have for you guys um but i am excited again it's reminding me a lot of like disneyland romance and you know enemies to lovers we gotta love that so i am really excited to read this book so you're probably wondering why i look so different from my previous clip well guys my camera died okay if things couldn't have gotten worse they did all right it died and i was like okay we will deal with this another day and here i am on sunday after church and i was like let's sit down and finish this so i can finish editing this video but guys <laughs> besides the hiccups i want to thank you guys so much for sticking through until the end i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video i had such a blast having you guys come along with me to second and charles to get some used books and some new books i loved it there i can't wait to go back and if you guys have a second and charles in your area please check it out you will not regret it the books are in great condition in my area the people are so nice and sweet and i feel like it shouldn't be any different hopefully it's not hopefully you have a good experience um but i highly do recommend it and again i, I just can't wait to go back it was a really great time but guys i pray that you guys have a great day today please take care of your health your mental health your physical health your health overall and i will see you guys in the next clip bye guys <laughs>